We've got so much to get to tonight. Joining us with reaction, Fox News national security strategist Sebastian Gorka, Fox News contributor Sarah Carter, and Fox News legal analyst Greg Jarrett. On top of the Sid Vicious Blumenthal thing, so we now have our FBI, Sarah Carter, literally telling? This is new to me. The, the the guy that's paying for Russian lies, salacious details on a candidate to to basically fix an election with phony Russian propaganda, they're giving him information. Well, I think that's incredible. You know, you would think that the FBI would be close hold about their own investigation before sharing that. Obviously, with an ex British spy who's working for Fusion GPS, who's being paid by the DNC and the Hillary Clinton campaign. Uh, Sean, the FBI usually does not share information with people that they're interviewing. And if you, if Steele is delivering information to the FBI, it should be the FBI questioning Steele, not Steele questioning the FBI. Hey. I think what's interesting to me is after Steele got this information, where did Steele go with it? I mean, this is a question that needs to be answered. Did Steele approach Papadopoulos? Did he approach sources of Papadopoulos? How much information did he get from the FBI on George Papadopoulos? And uh, those are questions that still need to be answered. You, uh, Greg Jarrett, from the legal side of this, do you see any legal issues? And you've been the one that has been pointing out you have four levels deep of hearsay yeah. that would never be accepted in any court. You know, this just underscores the FBI was politically motivated to damage Trump. They're meeting with Steele. They're trying to connect the dots with Papadopoulos. They're offering to pay money to Steele uh, to continue to dig dirt on Donald Trump. They became, in a way, just a political arm of the Democratic National Committee and the Trump campaign after the FBI <laughs> cleared for political reasons Hillary Clinton in the email scandal and then launched a political vendetta to frame Trump over Russian collusion without a scintilla of evidence. All right, uh, Sebastian, let me get to you, Dr. Gorka. So she fixed the primary with Bernie Sanders. She had the legal issues so she could stay in the game. She had the FBI director and Peter Strzok, who hates Trump, loves Hillary, fix it so she can keep working. Otherwise, we know